If you were a rich guy, if you were a rich guy, la -da 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 -da. what would you want to? I would have what a money in the world. <laughs> would you want to? You know how some people, when you die, um, when they die, they want it to be buried with certain stuff, or in their Gold. culture, Gold. they might bury their loved ones with certain stuff because Gold they believe on their eyes. On their eyes. Mm -hmm. That's, I think the Egyptians used to do that, right? They have gold. Their mummies, they have gold on their eyes. Wow. No, was it the no, Incas? No, no, no. Incas, I think. But it's so that you take it to the other side. So there was, there was a Brazilian rich guy. And one of the richest and most powerful men in Brazil. I think his name is Thane or Than. Thane. Chiquino. <laughs> Thane Chiquino Scarpa. Anyway. So he announced <laughs> plans... To bury his million dollar Bentley so he could drive around the afterlife in style. Now, this caused a lot of criticism and backlash because people are like, what the hey? Like, why would you do that? Why wouldn't you donate it to a charity or what? You know, there's so many other things you could do. Why are you burying a car? And there's like a picture of him and with all this, you know, big deep grave for the car, that, you know, and all the soil that's been pulled out. Anyway, he went ahead with it, but just moments. Well, first of all, what do you think about that? <laughs> it's his money. What do I care? Yeah, it's his car. I understand there's poor people around the world, but like if you if you start um start saying like questioning all the billionaires and what they do around the world, like <laughs> there's gonna be uproar every single moment, minute of the day because they waste money because it's they have a lot. They mm -hmm. have a lot of it. I wouldn't be surprised if it was billionaires out there just for fun ran out of toilet paper. I'm not saying they do it, but just just for fun, use the hanji just to wipe their ass. I mm. would not be surprised. I mean, the Australian hanji would cut you, but I'm talking about the American <laughs> yeah. hanji where it's made uh, out of paper. Saying, uh, the Australian hanji wouldn't be a good wipe. Nah, that'll <laughs> hurt. That'll hurt. That'll be a lot of cuts on the anus lot of, area. Yeah, a lot of uh, <laughs> cuts on the anus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Alexander? Someone's definitely wiped their ass with honey. <laughs> oh, this definitely happens. <laughs> so, uh, Dev, you posted this and did you read the story? No, no, oh, I did not. Okay, so what, what made you post it? I was uh, kind of weirded out that someone would bury a Bentley. Okay, so moments before he is about to lower the car into the ground, he revealed his Hold true... on, is he dead? Yeah, wait, I'm so lost here. No, he was just preempting. He was like, I'm going to bury my um, bury my car for when Hold I on. die. Hold so on, he, he buried his car before he died? Yes. So moments before... Why? So he Why wasn't dying, it? but he was just it. saying, I'm going to bury this car because when I die, then I will, you know, whatever. So moments before he was about to lower the car, or they were about to lower the car, he, re he reveals his genuine motive. The genuine motive was to create awareness for organ donation. He said, people condemn me because I wanted to bury a million dollar Bentley. In fact, most people bury something a lot more valuable than my car. Oh, wow. They bury their hearts, livers, lungs, eyes, and kidneys. This is absurd. So many people are waiting for a transplant and you'll bury your healthy organs that will save so many lives. So he did it as a publicity stunt. It wasn't because he wanted to live crazy in the afterlife he did it as a publicity stunt to create awareness for organ donors organ donation wow now what do you feel about that i feel like people still wipe their bums with a hundred <laughs> yeah um so you posted this like, um, as an article by accident dev yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep yep is it because you wanted to say people have wiped their asses with a hundred yes <laughs> yes that's right yes just confirming. <laughs> you didn't know that where that was going. Yeah. That's a pretty incredible mistake. Um, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's a, a story that's of a my life. That's a brilliant publicity stunt. I like that. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I love it. It you works. Could, uh, you could say that I was a genius. <laughs> you can say I'm a genius. From now on, call me genius. No. <laughs> no, no we can't say you're a genius. Well, did you know... If, if you... Did you know if penicillin you stumble, was, um, if was you, created by mistake? 
Was it penicillin? Yeah, but they were trying to create something. No, they weren't trying to. You weren't. What was you just wanted to say. You just what's wanted to one, say. What's the one with the wipe your ass um, of a hunji? The orga, uh, not the orgasm. What the did you s- organism that was left what? out in the. Um, Are you talking about penicillin? Is it penicillin? Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't that made by mistake? Yeah. Yeah. But they were trying to make something. No, they weren't. No, it wasn't. He then wasn't. how did it happen? It, by mistake. He, he, left he left it left, out on the counter. Left it out, yeah. But what, what did he leave out on the counter? Uh, uh, was it something... Something in a Petri dish. I don't know. Something was... Yeah. So he was actually trying to make something. It wasn't. No, it was a complete, like, accidental discovery. Oh. Uh, like a complete, ooh. <laughs> yeah. Call me a genius, motherfucker. Like I'm going this way and no. ended up going this way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm not calling you penicillin. a genius. Penicillin. What, what he did helped, helped the world. Alexander Fleming he was just described to say, like, as, as a careless lab technician. <laughs> <laughs> he returned from a two-week vacation to find that a mold had developed on an accidentally contaminated Staphylococcus culture plate. Upon examining the mold, he noticed that the culture prevented the growth. Of staphylococcal, cocculus. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. <laughs> so yeah, he was a bit of a clumsy dude that went away on holiday and came back. <laughs> and that's what I do. So he was the earnest of the group. Yeah. <laughs> I put in articles <laughs> to give awareness to organ donations. Mic drop. By accident. By accident. <laughs> yeah, so that was pretty cool. 